All right, we can do ray diagrams for lenses. Now let's get our lens equations. You're going to see a lot of similarities from what you did with your mirrors. But let's take a look at some tendencies. If it's a diverging lens, we'll always get virtual upright smaller. But with a con converging lens, we know it changes. So I would encourage you to copy down this chart so you have it in front of you. This is just taking all the results from your ray diagrams and we can kind of get that uh, inverse relationship. The key though is this one. When the object's at the center of curvature, this is the only time this occurs where it's the same size. So when the object is at C, the image is also at C, and it's the same size. If it's anywhere besides C, it's going to be a different size. So this, please note that when it's at C, the center of curvature, it's the same size. Okay, so now let's take a look at our equations here. Here's one of the ray diagrams we did before. We could have had a third ray to where we go right through the center of the lens and it would also go to where the image is located. So that gives us our two similar triangles. So we have high and ho again, die and do, but the difference is now it's going to the lens instead of the mirror. So I is always the image, O is always the object, H is still the height, D is still the distance to the lens. So we have high over ho equals die over do again. That's your magnification equation. And from our lab, we also got the 1 over do plus 1 over die equals 1 over f. So these equations are the exact same as what we had with our mirrors. We now have them with our lenses. So students usually do pretty well with this because they're very familiar with these two equations. But let's put the conditions on like we did with our mirrors. So if it's a converging lens, f is a positive. Diverging, f needs to be a negative. If di is a positive, that means it's a real image. And what do you know about real images? Located on the opposite side of the lens, and it's upside down. It's inverted. If di is a negative number, it's a virtual image, and it's located on the same side of the lens and it's upright. So those are the conditions with your diet uh, as you go through and do your calculations.